condemned. The moralist, the religious person, thinks that God's judgment is not for them. They oftentimes, we can look at the world out there, at the heathen, the immoral person, and pass judgment on that person, be critical of them, and have an attitude that says, you are worthy of God's judgment, while I am not. But when we pass judgment on another person, Paul says, you condemn yourself because you do the same things, which makes you what? A hypocrite. Paul's getting at, you're a hypocrite. You say one thing, but you do another thing. In fact, John Stott, he writes, it's the first group that, it is that first group that do things they know to be wrong and approve others who do them, which is at least consistent, he's talking about in chapter one, whereas the second group, this group, do what they know to be wrong and condemn others who do them, which is hypocritical. Hypocrisy, saying one thing, doing another, condemning one, thing, condemning one person for doing something while you are doing that very thing, maybe not overtly, outwardly out there, but in here or in the privacy of your own life. Hypocrisy, they're hypocrites. And we hate hypocrisy as people. We don't like it when people act hypocritically. You know, I was driving down the interstate the other day on 235, going back to my house, and uh, I was behind this guy, he had a sticker on his back window that said, slow, blank, you can fill in the blank, drivers suck. And it had a little image with it that was inappropriate uh, about slow drivers. And then I noticed something about him. He's driving in the fast lane, holding up all this traffic, going super slow. And I was like, is this a joke? Or what, 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 are you just doing this to kind of like uh, infuriate people? And I just thought to myself, I'm like, hypocrisy, <laughs> you hypocrite. And hypocrisy is a serious, serious sin. What do we find the the scriptures teaching about the hypocrite? Often we find Jesus, Jesus is much harsher, stronger in his rebuke towards the hypocrite than he is toward anyone else. He's so strong in his rebuke towards the Jew, towards the Pharisee, towards the one who's living in a self-righteous life and who's looking at others and saying, They are horrible, terrible people, while in their own hearts, Jesus says, you are just whitewashed tombs. You're dead. You're full of sin. And see, what happens with the moralist or the self-righteous religious person, this judgmental person, is they make a number of errors, grave errors, three grave errors of the Moralists are this. Number one is they underestimate the height of God's standard for righteousness. The people who are judgmental, they oftentimes underestimate the height of God's standard for righteousness. What is God's standard for righteousness? Perfection. Perfection. Jesus, he says, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. And when you think about the perfection of God, God is not just perfect in his action and behavior, but also in his attitudes and motives, that it's a, it's a whole thing. It's an external thing and an internal thing. It's, it's action, motive, and behavior, all these things together. God's standard is that we are to be perfect. Which when we stop and think for a moment, we should realize very quickly we're not. Secondly, they underestimate the depth of their own sin. See, sin lies deep where? Deep in the heart. This is where sin comes from. Sin is not something out there that we're trying to stop from coming in here. No, sin is something that comes out of the human, out into the world, and causes all kinds of destruction. This is what Jesus, he teaches in the Gospels. Mark 7, he says, from within, in verse 21, out of people's hearts come evil thoughts, sexual moralities, thefts, murders, adulteries, greed, Evil actions, deceit, self-indulgence, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a person. They come from within you. And the self-righteous person, this judgmental person, is, 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 they underestimate the depth of their own sin. That it's not just something that's out there, but it's something in here, no matter how clean your life may seem to be. And this all leads towards, to a blindness towards their own sin, where we exaggerate the faults of others while minimizing our own. We are so quick to notice the speck in another person's eye while not recognizing the log in our own eye, Jesus says. That we underestimate our own sin. 
And so we exaggerate others' faults and minimize our own. And we don't understand that we're doing the very same thing. Paul says, you're doing the very same thing which these other people you criticize are condemned for. And you're blind. The moralist, the self-righteous person easily forgets his own wrongs and thinks that their sins are far, other sins are far worse than his own. And out of a fact, out of, in fact, out of blindness, in an attempt to justify oneself, we'll even just kind of rename our sin. Instead of others lie and cheat, but we just kind of stretch the truth. Others steal, we're just borrowing. And as a result, people become extremely judgmental, where they put themselves in a position of judgment over others, pointing the finger at others, looking down at others, chastising others, being critical in their spirit towards others. Believing others are worthy of the judgment of God while they are not. They have one standard for themselves, another standard for others. And God says these sins are worthy of judgment. 